Hey guys, in this episode, we're gonna be talking about how to use MQTT in your Ruby applications. Now, MQTT is a protocol for PubSub for your Internet of Things devices. So in a previous episode, we used that little air quality sensor in Ruby on a Raspberry Pi, and we were talking to it and listening to any uh, readings that it made. And we're gonna use MQTT to broadcast those readings to anybody who wants to listen to them. So what this is, is kind of similar, very similar to Redis's PubSub or even Postgres has PubSub built in. There are a lot of other um, options out here as well, but MQTT is a pretty standard thing for Internet of Things or a standard protocol for that. So you have two things, or three things rather. You have a client, which is the sensor itself that's saying, hey, I've got information that people might want. It sends the topic uh, message and it says, uh, you know, hey, my temperature is whatever, or in our case, the air quality is um, this value. It goes to a broker, which is like your database server. And then the broker says, hey, anybody who subscribed to this, here's the new messages. And it just sends those out. So it's just basic pub sub that you're used to if you've ever used it in Redis before. Um, we are using a tool called Mosquito that is running on my Home Assistant Raspberry Pi. So I have two Raspberry Pis. One's the sensor, one's Home Assistant. Home Assistant is the broker and it's listening um, and running the Mosquito MQTT server. So then in order to tell Home Assistant, hey, we wanna listen to some stuff, we can set up a sensor in the config and all we have to do is say, hey, we want a sensor, it's this name, office air quality, and the topic we give it, any name we want, office air quality, and our Ruby script from the air quality sensor just send stuff to that topic and it will show up in our interface here. So this is how we basically define a subscriber in Home Assistant, but you can do a, just a subscriber in Ruby itself and do whatever you want with it as well. So um, what we're gonna do is we're going to modify our uh, script for the air quality sensor and we're gonna add the MQTT gem to publish information to that topic. So here we're going to open up our gem file and add the MQTT gem to it. Um, I'm going to then run bundle so we have that available. And then it's as simple as setting up our connection to the MQTT broker. So we'll go into the airquality.rb file and when we start or when we um, initialize, we can make our connection to the MQTT server. So if we have um, MQTT equals, we can say MQTT client.connect, and we can give it um, the host and the port and everything else that we might need. So we'll say host is home assistant dot local. The port is going to be 1833, which, or 1883. Um, username is going to be env mqtt username and uh, password is going to be env mqtt password. So you can specify those with environment variables and act on them very easily. Um, you can you know use the Rails credentials or whatever else you might want if you needed, but this is then going to make that connection to the MQTT server. And then when we have a sample, we can log that out. So we can either, you know, add our own um, publish to MQTT method, um, maybe MQTT publish, something like that. So we can say MQTT publish the sample and we can then define our publish here. So it's really simple. We say mqtt.publish, and we give it the name of the um, topic that we would like, so air quality, and we give it the value. So here we're gonna say sample.pm25 standard, and that's going to be the numeric value for the micrograms per meter cubed. And we can, you know, if we wanted to send over this text uh, value as well, we could do that instead. Um, but this is going to give us numbers so we can have that on a graph and you can see the fluctuations easily when um, those are being displayed. And of course, the last thing is we need to make sure that we require that MQTT library. There are some other options out there like RabbitMQ, um, which has a gem called Bunny and a similar interface 
MQTT was what worked best for me because we're using the Mosquito um, broker, not actually RabbitMQ on um, on Home Assistant, but you could run RabbitMQ. You can run some other services as well that all kind of implement the same thing uh, as far as I know. So now we can run rubyairquality.rb and we should see that we are getting our readings and these are all working, but we should now see them starting to be reported in our home assistant as well. So here you go. You can see this graph is beginning to write values. We had some three, we had a four here, um, and we'll see that those same values are being listed out in this. But now if I take a candle and we light the candle, so here we go. Light that candle. And we're nearby the air quality sensor, which I can't really show you easily, but I'll blow it out. And we'll have smoke here, and we'll jump to hazardous, very unhealthy, and so on. And we should be able to refresh our home assistant. And you can see that it jumped way up to 1890. Um, it's not showing you like every single value because it's you know collecting these every single second. Um, and this is a little bit broader for minutes, but maybe we could even break this down to say August 1st at yeah 12 or like 1 p.m. and make our graph a little bit larger. So maybe we'll go even to say 3 p.m. Boom. And there you go, you can see all these different readings that were coming off of the air quality sensor. So if we just leave this running, what we'll end up with is a beautiful little graph here of all of those things, and our devices are broadcasting this information to each other. Some of the cool stuff that you can do with MQTT is you can tell it um, how you care about these messages being sent. So some of them you can say, hey, we just wanna broadcast it. If it doesn't ever get received, we don't care. But other times you can say, hey, we do want to make sure that it is received. Um, and this is really cool. So there's at most once, at least once, and exactly once. And you can tell MQTT like which you prefer there. Um, so depending on the sensor values, that may or may not be uh, different you know, of importance there that you can choose when you're broadcasting this stuff. So it's really cool. Um, and something just really fun to play with. So with that, all we have is a very simple script that runs basically one line of code to connect to MQTT and another line of code to broadcast to that. So that is awesome. Um, if we were to do the block version of this, this will automatically disconnect for us, but we're probably gonna want to call disconnect when we close. So we'll have to, now, one other thing we wanna take care of here is we wanna call disconnect whenever we are finished with this. So if we hop into our code, we can um, interrupt the program and we will want to go into edit this and set up like an ensure down here on the start. And we can say ensure um, at mqtt.disconnect. Um, we can even move this connect down here. So whenever you call start, we can make the connection there and that will be a little bit better so that when we are um, setting this up, we have the connection. We don't do it immediately in case you needed to initialize and change some configuration um, or whatever else. The start will be the time that it actually attempts to connect to MQTT and the interface and it will start reading its values, and then whenever we end this, it should disconnect the MQTT um, socket and connection there for us. Um, so that is it. Uh, it's actually really, really easy to use MQTT. There's not a whole lot to it. Um, they have the retain option here. You can subscribe to topics as well um, and receive messages and handle all of that stuff as needed. So this is a really basic 
instance of this, I thought it was really cool to be able to wire this up to Home Assistant, which is really cool for other things. For example, this can connect to your TVs, your audio devices, your garage doors. It connects to my pool and my security system and uh, ubiquity equipment and all of that stuff. And I can control all of that and uh, also set up automations and other things all from home really easily. So that is uh, a quick look at MQTT and how to use it in Ruby in order to record things like air quality data. So that's it for this episode. If you want to see more stuff like this, in, let us know in the comments below and I will talk to you in the next one. Peace.